Dusty Locks and the Three Bears by Susan Lowell. Once upon a time, way out west, there were three grizzly bears who lived together in a neat and tidy cabin in the woods. One was a little bitty bear cub, just knee high to a bumblebee. One was a mild mannered middle sized mama and one was a great big humpback gray-haired grizzly, nine feet tall and cross as two sticks. They each had a dish to eat their beans from, a little saucer for the bear cub, a tin plate for the mama bear, and a great big turkey platter for the great big grizzly bear and they each had a seat to sit on. A three-legged stool for the bear cub, a rocking chair for the mama bear, and a great big lumpy stump for the great big grizzly bear. And they each had a bed to sleep in, a little straw mattress for the bear cub, a feather bed for the mama bear, and a great big heap of prickly green branches for the great big grizzly bear. One day, while the red hot beans were cooling in their three dishes, the bears went out for a walk. And just as soon as they turned their grizzly backs, something strange came blowing out of the woods. A cloud of smoke? A swarm of mosquitoes? No, sir. It was a dirty little girl. She hadn't had a bath for a month of Sundays, so everybody called her Dusty Locks. But Trouble was her middle name. That little outlaw had run away from home without stopping to kiss her mother goodbye. First, Dusty Locks peeked in the bear's window. Then, she squinted through the keyhole of the cabin door. Finally, she barged right straight inside. Those grizzlies were fine, upstanding, law-abiding critters, honest as the day is long, and they never locked their door. Beans! cried Dusty Locks. Yahoo! I'm so hungry, I could eat a saddle blanket. Now, if the bears had been there, they would have shown true Western hospitality and said, sit right down and dig in. But crusty little Dusty Locks didn't wait to be axed. Not they calling her crusty. She took a bite of the big grizzly bear's beans. Mmm. Mm. At first, Dusty Lock smacked her lips, but then she let out a yell. Owie! A wildfire flamed inside her mouth. She howled louder than 10,000 coyotes, and Dusty Locks said a very bad word. You see, the great big grizzly bear liked his beans chock full of chili peppers. Too hot! gasped Dusty Locks. When the fire died down, Dusty Locks took a bite of the mama bear's beans, but the mama liked hers plain. No salt, no nothing. Puff, said Dusty Locks and spat them out. She had no more manners than a pig in a peach orchard. Then she took a bite of the bear cub's beans. Just right, said Dusty Locks as she grabbed them all up, licked the saucer clean, and burped. Next, Dusty Lock sat on the great big grizzly stump. I'm rough and tough, she bragged, but it was even too lumpy and bumpy for her. And then she tried Mama Bear's rocking chair. 
but it had too many fancy dancy cushions for her. So she plunked herself down upon the beer club's three-legged stool. Just right, said Dusty Locks, but that heavy little roughneck sat the poor stool right into the ground. This made her madder than a half-squash hornet. She kicked the pieces out of her way and stomped upstairs. Running away is hard work, said Dusty Locks, all tuckered out. First, she threw herself down on a heap of grass branches that belonged to the great big grizzly. But the branches itched and they pricked and they jabbed and they stabbed Dusty Locks something terrible. So she jumped up and down till she stamped them into springs. Next, she flopped into Mama's bear's feather bed. Ah! sighed Dusty Locks. Mighty fine. But then she sank down deeper and deeper and deeper and oof, cried Dusty Locks. Too soft. Get me out of here. And then she tested the bear's cub, little straw mattress, and it was neither too hard nor too soft. Just right said Dusty Locks as she covered herself up and fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the grizzlies came home from their hike. At first, they figured their tidy cabin had been struck by a sandstorm. But when the great big grizzly took a look at his dinner, he got riled. Someone's been eating my beans, he growled in his great, big, rough, gruff voice. Someone's been eating my beans, said the mama bear in her mild manner, middle-sized voice. Someone's been eating my beans too and has eaten them all up, squeaked the bear cub in his little bitty baby voice. Now, Dusty Locks had tipped over the stump. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Big Bear in his great, big, grouchy voice. And Dusty Locks had dumped the cushions on the floor. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said the Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. And someone's been sitting in my chair and smashed all to flinders squeaked the bear cub in a little bit bigger voice than ever. The great big grizzlies, not really riled, bean rustler, he roared, chair buster. And the three bears galloped upstairs looking for trouble. The first thing they found was the heap of stump springs. Someone's been lying in my bed growled the big bear in his great, big, gruesome voice. Then they saw feathers scattered from here to breakfast. Someone's been lying in my bed, said the mama bear in her middle voice. And then they saw the little straw mattress with a rumpled blanket and a dusty, dirty head upon the pillow. Someone's been laying in my bed, and here she is, squeaked the bear club in the biggest voice he had. Well, I'll be bumfoozled, growled the great big bear, scratching his grisly gray head in amazement. Lamb snakes, said the mama bear. Smells mighty whiffy in here. P.U., squeaked the bear club. It's a skunk. When Dusty Locks heard the big grizzly's voice in her sleep, she dreamed of thunder and lightning. And when she heard the mama's bear's voice, she dreamed of her own mother. And when she heard the bear cub squeak, she dreamed she had a bug in her ear and she woke right up. And when she saw three grizzly bears staring at her, Dusty Locks was so scared that she tumbled out of bed, 
took a flying leap through the open window and made tracks for home. She vamoosed so fast the dust didn't settle for a week. <laughs> the moment Dusty Lock's mother got a hold of that dirty little desperado, she dunked her in the bathtub and then she scolded and scrubbed and she rubbed and she hugged and she kissed Dusty Locks into a whole new girl entirely. And the three grizzly bears never saw her again. Or if they did, they'd never recognize her.